Shalom, brothers and sisters. And I pray that um, all of y'all are still fighting the good fight and still praying for your brothers and sisters around the world because we need the prayer. All of us together as one need to pray together because uh, prayer is powerful, y'all. Prayer is very, very powerful, brothers and sisters. So we must pray for one another. We must pray for our families. And we must pray that the evil be taken down in this world, brothers and sisters. Now, Many other platforms have driven us or other people to build certain platforms and to sign up under these platforms, such as BitChute or Brighton or any of the other platforms that exist out there where you can still have a chance at free speech where you can actually put out information and it won't be taken down. So I need y'all to click on that link in the description box below. Get to this playlist on BitChute and check out these videos that's on here. I'm not going to bring up the names. I don't know if they're going to try to take this down or not but these are some of the videos that I put on this playlist that you need to check out and you need to share share this playlist brothers and sisters after you check out all the videos share this playlist and uh, be careful what you say while you're sharing this playlist. Or you will get um, blocked or <clears throat> accused of spreading false information or get strikes put into what they call digital prison. Check out all these particular videos, brothers and sisters, that's on this playlist. And, um, and definitely come back and share this playlist. Take that same link that's in the description box that will lead to this playlist and share it with others. Very important that y'all do that. Because this particular beast is raising its ugly head and it's deceiving the whole world. This beast is deceiving the whole world, brothers and sisters. And this particular thing we're seeing that they're trying to force everybody to do is a part of the mark of the beast. It's, it's, it's a part of that system. It's a complete total system that's in place, that's connected to the AI system that's rising. It's connected to the Internet of Things. It's connected to what Mark Zuckerberg is creating now the metaverse where they're going to mix virtual reality with reality where you'll be walking around with these headsets on mixing uh, virtual reality with reality and it's, it's just going to be you know, to some people, this is amazing and, and they can't wait and they want to, they want this technology to come out. And I can see the potential of it, but it ain't good. 
it would never have a good end for none of us, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Not as long as these wicked ones are in power. Until they're taken out of power, we're in for the fight of our life. And really, it's your life that you're truly fighting for right now. I said it in past videos that the final mark is going to be something they put in your hand, right? Or in your forehead. It's going to be a biochip. This biochip going to bond with your body and you're not going to be able to go back on it. It's not like you're going to be able to dig it out. This thing going to be in you and it's going to be permanent. And it's going to change your DNA. I've said this in past videos about the mark, the final mark of the beast. It's going to be something that changes you and you're going to be different from what the Most High has created in his image. You're going to be different. And yes, it is dealing with something that's going to go in you. You know, they, they're they pushing that transhuman thing where you can become part machine and they even calling this a conspiracy theory and it's in their plans it's in their commercials and their tv how can they call us conspiracy theories and it's all over what they're promoting it's in the movies they promote the movies it's it's in uh television they promote television it's in commercials they promote commercials But when you personally say something about it, you are demonized, cast down, looked down upon, and <clears throat> and treated like uh, dirt, treated like a liar. Brothers and sisters, we know that the beast, the whole beast system, is under delusion that that includes the people that's with the beast and the, underneath the beast system they're under a great delusion as second thessalonians has said they are under a serious delusion y'all and guess who put him there the most high It's the Most High who put them under this great delusion. Why? Why did he put them? Because they, they did not receive the love of the truth that they might be saved. So the Most High put them under a strong delusion that they would believe a lie. The Most High turned them all over to Satan and Satan's spirits dwell in them causing them to believe all these lies that they might be damned who believe not the truth but have pleasure in unrighteousness so even some of the truthers that's coming out telling the truth and I said this before in past videos you got to watch them as well because even though they're telling, telling on their kingdom they're telling the truth about what's going on with their kingdom and how they're being deceived and tricked. They still don't know the Most High. They still haven't drawn next, drawn near to Him. They still haven't repented of their sins. They're still not underneath the Second Covenant. They're not in the Second Covenant with Yahusha. They still fighting to keep their kingdom, y'all. That's the reason why they're telling all this truth you got to remember that when you're watching their videos they want to save their excel themselves and their kingdom some of them is looking for the kingdom of jc but they're still under the lies of that system created around jc <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, be not deceived, be not carried away with lies and deceptions and all manner of doctrines of demons and devils and men that is being shown to you. 
but get an understanding through the spirit of truth and the leading and guiding of the Most High in you who dwells in your temple. Trust that which is inside of you to lead and guide you always. So look up for your redemption draweth nigh. It draweth near, brothers and sisters. Keep your faith and endure to the end. For your Savior cometh soon, very soon. Keep purging out sins and transgressions. Keep working on it. Keep working on your mind because it starts with your mind. You have to reprogram your mind to the mind of Yahusha through obedience to him and listening to him and practicing good, good works and good thoughts and casting down evil thoughts and evil works until you get used to it, until it's a part of you. We are creatures of habit or creations of habit. You form good habits, they will overtake all the bad habits you form. As long as you get an understanding of why you're doing what the, the things that you do. Once you understand that, you're able to, and then once you confess it, you're able to uh, uh, turn those things around and start working on the solution, the good that will conquer that evil. Whatever it is that you're doing. But if you continuously stay in the same frame of mind and still doing the same things, hanging with the same people, and loving your sins that you, you speak out of your mouths and the perversions that come out of your mouth, and you loving that tongue, that fiery, cursing tongue that you love mess and spreading gossip and rumors and you just love the ways of this world talking like the world walking like the world looking like the world but you still you still want to say you one of the children of the most high you are deceived and the most has turned you over to your own delusion that you might believe that lie and continue to walk in it that you might be damned who believe not the truth. And the most I tell you not to hang with someone. And you, you ain't supposed to hang with them. When he say don't go over there and eat with them. You ain't supposed to eat with them. You ain't supposed to reinforce their habits. <clears throat> Making them think that they're doing right. When they're doing wrong. No. You cut them off. You cut them loose and you let them know that they're doing wrong and that you, you can't be around them like that no more because they believe not the love of the truth. They receive not the love of the truth, brothers and sisters. And they will drag you down. They will get you caught up in their own sins and transgressions and their ways of thinking. And I bear witness to that, brothers and sisters. I bear witness to that. And it's all because of disobedience. If you obey and have faith in what he's saying and do what he says, you will not transgress against the Most High. And you will have that time to be converted into a new soul that he designs, that he will graft, that he will mold, he will shape within you if you trust in him and receive him like that. Trust in the Most High Yahweh. Trust in Yahusha's high priesthood and uh, his kingship. Trust in them, y'all. Trust in the spirit that he sent you. Y'all hear what I'm saying? And do it to the end. All right, with that, brothers and sisters, I'm say shalom. And be sure to share that playlist.